morning. Good morning and welcome. I hope that you are well. Huh. By the way, I hope you noticed Mr. Green Jeans playing the, the trombone. Did you notice the watch that he has on? It's a brand new watch. He's been, uh, been trying to get me to notice it all morning. <laughs> I've been sort of teasing him. I, I mean, I, it's very obvious that it's a new watch, but I've just been sort of kidding him and not noticing the watch. He's been trying to get my attention all morning, showing me the watch. <laughs> Hi, all. What's new? What's new? Yeah, what is new? Just a little uh, itch here, is all. <laughs> Nothing's new, just no new. Hey, you remember, uh, remember the uh, day we went down the... Uh, we went First we went down that way, and we came back this way, and then we went up this way, you know? Oh, that carnation. That, that is one of the most beautiful carnations I've ever seen. That is really gorgeous. I was telling you, that day we went down the... Oh, road. boy, oh, boy, what? let me tell you. What? That is something. What is something? I have never seen a more beautiful one in all my life. Beautiful what? Will you take a look at that as if you didn't know? What? When did you develop that freckle? That is a beautiful freckle. Just great. Look at that. All right, forget it. But, uh... You go back to yours. Just go to me. Stop you. Go right ahead. Just go back to you yours. You want me to go down? And go up and down no, 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 no. Just, just go. Do your chores. Just do the chores. Be huh? around. <coughs> oh, by the way. Yes. Uh, before you leave, would you check Grandfather for me? I think he may check be grandpa. running a little slow. He's running a little slow, huh? Yeah, check, check him, would you please? He looks all right to me. No, oh, check him, why don't you? But no, he looks all right. Oh, oh, oh. Why didn't I see it before? The what? <laughs> Beautiful! Just enough, just enough. Anymore. That is some watch, but let me tell this, you. This is an old watch, is all. Really all. <laughs> Boy, why'd you check no, that? Let me take a look. So it's not quite. Listen, I want to show you something. This is not like a regular watch. What do you mean? Well, oh, it does all kinds of things. Watch. When you push the button here, now listen. Radio. Hey, that's something. That's really something. How about that? Not very long. Now, observe this. Automatic doorman. Keep your eye on the door. Now watch. Automatic Please, doorman. Watch. What? Watch. Watch what happens. Why did you see that? How oh, about that? And closes the cell. Well, too. that is really some watch. Here's something that comes in very handy. I'll tell you why after. Now listen to this. Oh, oh, you know where? Where is that? In the aisles of the supermarket. Oh, 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 oh everybody out of the way. It clears the aisle of the market in a hurry. Yeah. Well, well suppose really... we have a dry spell. A very, very dry spell on a drought. We need water. The plants need water. Watch what happens here now. All right, I'll turn it off now. Hey, hey, hey. How about that? Now listen. You know how sometimes at the town meeting when there's a big crowd there, like eight or nine people, and everybody tries to talk at once and you can't get the floor? You raise your hand. What happens? Nothing. Here's how to get the floor at the town meeting. Now watch. Does everything. Does, does just that everything. Some other little Congratulations. Where'd you get it? Huh? Got a mail order catalog. Oh, good. Fine. Why don't you get one? I will. I will. I'll get you one. ought to have fine. one. Thank Order you. it right away. Okay. Fine. Thank you. Good. Oh, by the way, before you leave, do me a favor. Check Grandpa. Will you just make sure that he's running at that? Seems to me he's running a little slow. He's all right. He's all right. Well, check him. Check him against the check watch. Him I want you to watch. check Grandfather. Grandfather's timekeeping against your watch. Just he make sure that. What's the difference? Come on, check him. Would you please? A minute or two. Oh, come on. What do you mean? What's a minute or two? Check him against your watch for the accuracy. I want to see if he's running properly. Out. He seems to be. Are you going to check him against your watch, or aren't you going? To... What have you got there? Little alarm clock. Well, why don't you check him against? He's right on the button. He's right on the button. That's the one thing your watch doesn't do. Doesn't tell. Well, it does that. Every watch can tell time, but that's who can. I mean, you have to get yourself one. I'll have to. modern dancer.
are looking forward to the three bears who are going to pay us a visit in the treasure house today. That's right, the three bears among your favorites. And, of course, we have Mr. Moose's opera tale of the Tootlebird, which we'll have for you when we return in 60 seconds. <laughs>
let it be known that I, King Cornelius, heard last night a most beautiful sound, which I believe to be the song of the rare Tootlebird. In order that I may be sure to hear the song of this Tootlebird, if he should ever sing again, I hereby decree that there be complete silence throughout my kingdom from this day forth. Signed, King Cornelius. Complete silence from that day forth. It was a sad day for the kingdom. It's a sad, sad day. Shall live. 
Lester the Piper, you are the Toodlebird. I am the Toodlebird? Yes, you are the Toodlebird. And with that, King Cornelius commanded that the silence be broken and that a holiday be proclaimed in honor of the beautiful music of Lester the Piper. And to this, all the people cried. And then they shouted. And then they all sang together. Yeah, I'll catch up. Bunny says you ought to have to borrow the boy up to the farm for all carrots. 
He's good enough to last him for a lifetime. Yeah, he's got what's white enough to last him for quite a long time. Too bad. Too bad. Uh, on second thought, Buddy would like just one more point. Uh, never mind. I can see you're busy right now. And maybe later. No. Okay, bye. This is a, a most unusual. Thank you. Trees? 
Hey! There's something real strange going on around here. Trees don't grow that quickly. I am Mr. Instant, uh, the Instant Thinking. I can make instant anything instantly. And I think little boys like you are much too happy. So I'm going to make them instantly unhappy with my very latest invention, Instant Tantrum. Uh, what's a tantrum? Oh, that's when children cry and, and kick their feet and are unhappy. He might think he can get the best of happy kids this way, but he's forgetting that I have you, marvelous Manfred the Wonder Dog, who helps me solve all problems, no matter how hard they are. There's no problem. I can dream just as well up here. I might be Manfred, the Wonder Dog. Noble brain, able brain, that's me. Fast and fleet of feet, danger is my meat. I'm feeling afraid I then the hound can be. I might demand the beast, the wonder dog. Tried and true, handsome too, this I know. There's just no dog like me. It's true because you say.
back and relax and enjoy the tumbling and jumping and acrobatics of the three bears.
Sounds terrific to finish the story. I wonder how he makes out with Manfred in that stand. Oh, oh, oh. I just can't do anything without the mighty Manfred to help him. I know. I'll become a bucket of water and revive him. <laughs> what happened? Good boy, Manfred. I knew that tantrum wouldn't scare you at all. I see you're shivering with healthy excitement, my hero hound. Raring to go, right? Uh, right. Let's go home. Do that. Here comes that Tom Terrific. And I've run out of instant tantrum powders. I must hurry back to my laboratory for another batch. Full speed ahead, mighty Manfred. We must crunch Mr. Instant's evil plan. Uh, hey, may way. Wow, Manfred must have found a secret entrance. Uh, that's what you think. I'm holding on to him, just so you won't interfere with my master plan. You can't fool me, Mr. Instant. Why, the mighty Manfred probably has you cornered at this very minute. You better get up before he gets real angry. And uh, now, you're going to help me with the biggest instant tantrum of my whole rotten career. We'll drop the powder over the whole town and make all the children unhappy at once. Now, to get you up in the air. <laughs> right. So, oh! All we need is a little rain to wet the powder and set it off. And here comes the rain cloud now. So, oh! Soon, we'll have a town full of tantrums. <laughs> That's good. A town full of tantrums. Wow! If I don't stop this, the people will think Manfred's to blame. I can't let it happen. Oh, I'm in an awful fix. Oh, uh, about me. I'll let this kite out a little more, so the rain cloud soon will be right over that silly dog. <laughs> oh, thinking hat, if you ever help me think, help me now. Come! <laughs> a weather indicator and move the needle from rainy to very dry. Ooh, it's very hard to do anything about the weather. I broke. There's only one thing left to do. Uh, hurry, Tom. It's coming again. <laughs> that dog thinks he can keep me from making the whole town unhappy with my instant tantrum. But I have an even bigger and better way. <laughs> Uh... Oh, golly, Manfred, what will we do now? I've got to keep that instant tantrum powder from getting wet and going off, so I must stay as an umbrella. Suit me. 
But if I do, how am I going to stop old Mr. Instant? I'll bet he's working on another plan right now. Hang on, mighty man Fred. We're going to investigate. I have a feeling there's no time to lose. Uh, take it easy, Pop. I'm getting airsick. Um, let's see. Where did I put that instant guided missile envelope? Guided missile? I knew it. He's up to something. Ah, uh, here it is. Now, I just add a little water and... <laughs> a beautiful guided missile. I'll take it outside and shoot it right at the town, loaded with instant tantrum powder. So, oh, mustn't forget my umbrella. I hate to think what would happen if I got wet with all these envelopes in my pocket. Oh! Oh, nobody, not even Tom Terrific, can stop me from having my mean fun. Oh, yes, I can, Mr. Instant. That umbrella, it wasn't mine. It was you all the time, and I'm getting wet. My instant powders, they're going off. Manfred, I'm glad everything turned out well. Well, here's our good friend, one that I know you enjoy dancing or playing a musical instrument, in this case the xylophone, that cool clown Harley.
Here's a foxy fellow who's going to do a little bit of magic for us right now. Look at that magic hat. What's he going to make appear? We'll be seeing you in the treasure house. Be kind to each other. Share what you have to share. And do remember your prayers, huh?